phone. So we are connected again from the UN headquarters here in Vienna and it's 11 o'clock uh, here. Um, it's the last day of our conference, but we still have the same energy as the first day. And we are actually uh, already wishing for and dreaming for the next year's conference. The fireside chats here have been very, very exciting, uh, different topics. And the next one that we are going to focus, it's a call to the companies and employers aim for inclusion. And I am connected to Jos Kurian from India. Good morning, Jos. Are you with me? Hi. Hello, Ima. Good yes, morning. I what time is it in there? Is it like three in afternoon? It's around 3.30 p.m. That's India. good. That's good. Um, uh, Jos, you are in a mission and um, you work for Handicap International Humanity and Inclusion, right? Yes, I work for Humanity Inclusion, previously known as Handicap International. I understand. And, uh, I'm based in India. New Delhi, right? Yes, New Delhi. So, Jos, you have built up uh, a, a technical, an inclusive technical assistance model, right? It's it's um, it's there to help the companies on um, to become more inclusive, and you have developed a specific metrics based on five dimensions and to to guide these companies on how to become more inclusive can you tell us um a little bit more and introduce uh in details and why did you do this what was the situation with the companies in india or or uh where you are targeting at yeah um thanks for the question and uh, i just wonder uh mention about this matrix before that i just i'm just telling few words about humanity inclusion actually and uh, maybe most of you aware about that we we in short form we call hi hi started working in 1982 and at present we are working around 60 countries so over the period of time HA gained a kind of a technical in expertise on inclusive employment. And based on that experience, HA developed a kind of a model which support employers to make their institution as an equal opportunity employer. So that provides and promote employment for people with disabilities in any sector. Like, you know, it's not only focusing on IT, IT or hospitality, mm -hmm. even it is for manufacturing sector also. So we developed this model and uh, in India, we piloted this model with Michelin tires. Michelin is a tire manufacturing company and uh, we worked with Michelin for two years to apply this model and successfully we completed this project. So today I just want to share those experience and I want to explain in brief, what is this model? Yes, Jos. Um, so I, I have seen the metrics and it has to do with, um, so you start the first one is policies and leadership. And then you go into the HR and management, and then you deal with the internal culture. And at the fourth stage with the physical and digital accessibility of the company. And at the fifth, uh, which I think it's also very important step, uh, with the tailored partnerships. So it yes. seems that you start with really uh, at the top uh, level of the management. I think it's important this step and you will explain us um, maybe one, two priorities for each of them. Yeah, so it is it is like a kind of a model uh, which includes five dimension as you mentioned. And it is not just focusing only some particular aspects like recruitment or placement. We work with the company right from the policy level. So if we look at this matrix, the first dimension we call leadership and policy level. It's just nothing like we can imagine one circle and we divide in five, five part. So in first domain is in uh, policies and uh, leadership so because that is we we think that this is very important because until unless if there is no policy then this will this action will not sustain yes. so uh, for example 
during our project with Michelin tires, what we did means they have the diversity policy policy globally, but there is no disability was part of that policy. So we tried to work with them to include disability also. So and then they they we supported them to develop a kind of a equal opportunity policy within their company. So that gives a kind of a direction document for them to recruit. So that is happening in the policy level. So for that purpose, we work with the higher management level. Yes, then and the then you step domain, in. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Then we 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 the second domain is HR and management practices. So if the policy is there, then they will automatically start recruiting. So we work with the HR team to make the recruitment process inclusive, and that is again not only for the recruitment once. They they recruit the people, then they provide a kind of a reasonable accommodation, whatever they require, and a kind of a training programs. For example, sign language training, inclusive induction program, these kind of things. So once the HR and management, the next domain we call internal culture, which is very important because nowadays we know we all know that discrimination is one of the main barrier, mm -hmm. or prevents uh, employability. So it is very important to build a kind of a positive culture within the environment. So uh, that will make the person with the disability comfortable in his or her workplace. So for that, that is the domain called internal culture. Then again, uh, accessibility, that is the fourth domain. Accessibility is very important because a person with a disability, because if the workplace is not accessible or the work premises is not accessible, then we can expect a dropout. So, but the burden will come for the person with a disability. People will say that, okay, we gave the job, but he is not able to work. So it is very important to make the barrier free environment. So that is the accessibility. And again, it is not only for the physical accessibility. We need to see the digital aspects also because the communication aspects. So that is the accessibility. Now, again, so that is the fifth, fourth domain. And the fifth domain, if you see, inclusion cannot happen alone. It means if the company or if the employer decides, okay, we want to promote inclusion, but no, maybe they need a kind of a support. So for that purpose, what we are doing, uh, we connect the employer with the different stakeholders who are working in the disability sector. It could be for the training or it could be for the accessibility services, even for sign language interpretation services. So uh, for that purpose, we connected Michelin company with the different stakeholders. And that will help them to sourcing the candidates because it's something new for them. So they may know, they may not be knowing where they can uh, get the candidates or the people with the disabilities. So there are a lot of people, a uh, lot of agencies are working for promoting employment. So we'll connect. So that is called tailored partnership. So uh, like a holistic approach, these are the five dimension and these five dimension work we will do together. I understand. Um, Mr. Korea, it's, I mean, your approach seems very holistic, interlinked, and kind of assures, uh, ensures sustainability. In terms of time, so once uh, a company has approached you, um, how much time does it take to, to um, let's say, to complete the all five dimensional approach does is it like no. in a year time or more than that or it's continuous with a uh, overseeing uh, periods see once we agreed the uh, kind of a partnership so what we used to do means we first one or two months because again it depends the size of the employer huh? because yeah. for example the work what, what we were doing michelin in India, they are having around 2,000 employees. So it's a 300 acre, three hectares premises. So it depends the size of the employer. If it is a large scale employer, then first one or two months, we will do a kind of a need assessment 
and that is very important. So basically, this assessment is to understand what is the current level of inclusiveness. So then from there, we will develop a kind of an action plan. Now, this action plan, there will be some kind of quick win actions. There will be some time long because see, some a company is going to start a something new. So it may take little time for them to kind of know because they have to find the resources. They have to identify the different uh, uh, parties for this. So it may take so some of the activities we may do very quickly. Some of the activities because see, for example, here I can tell it Michelin. They have a company transportation. Now, none of the transportation services of the company is not means it is not accessible. So, but again, in, in one fine day, they cannot uh, change the entire yes. transportation. It will take little time. So when we develop the action plan, we make a kind of a, each activity, we will put a kind of a priority and the time frame. So something will finish in one year, something will finish in two years, something will go beyond the two year. But uh, First six months, we can uh, maybe minimum six months we would require. Um, Mr. So. Puri, I would I would like to ask because you you also have de developed this approach and you sell it, right? You um, can you transfer knowledge yes. to other organizations in the world yes. besides selling it to other uh, to the companies that need your service? That is one of the objective, like whatever the, the expertise, experience we gained over a period, we want to share with the different employers. So for that purpose we are making a kind of a ITA uh, uh, model and uh, always uh, we we are happy to support with uh, other employees and it is happening in different countries we are uh, working with the different uh, employers yes great so we are in our last two minutes um, yeah uh, if you'd like to add anything uh, related to the impact in numbers maybe with uh, the Michelin collaboration you have had or also a call for action. We have a very large audience from any corner of the world right now. And this link will be available to be watched even later. So if you have a call for action, this is the time. And, and I would like to thank you very much for, the, for this um, five-dimensional approach. I think it's very necessary. I know that there are many companies out there that would like to be involved truly and deeply into the inclusion, but they need guidance from, from organizations. Yes, actually that is very important because there are nowadays, this moment is very strong and a lot of employers are coming forward to recruit the people with disabilities. But the thing is, uh, they, they means, they, they, they may not be knowing the exact route, how to move forward. So if somebody is there to support, then it will be easy. And through that support, no, many people will, people with disabilities will be getting a kind of a employment which lead their life, no, quality of life. So uh, HI is humanity in, and inclusion is always there to support the companies who are interested to support and uh, www.hi.org that is our website and uh, anybody can contact uh, hi for this purpose thank you very much Ima. thank you to you as well and um i hope that in the future we have noticed that many companies when they are adver advertise their uh, job vacancy positions they state that they are open to um candidates with uh, disabilities. That's a good step. That's a very something that we were looking for. But then after that, we have to make the companies at every step accessible and inclusive. Yeah. So this person who finally gets the job position, uh, it's feeling really included in the, in the workplace. I wish you all the best and uh, hope to see you next year here in Vienna in person for the Zero Conference. Sure. Thank you so much, Ima, and uh, thanks for Zero Project for giving this opportunity. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Dear yeah. guests, stay tuned. It will follow. We have a long day still to go. Thank you.